So this is the coolant overflow canister that comes with the kit. And it's about, I don't know, 30 ounces maybe. Which my understanding is kind of borderline. So I bought this one. Made by Canton. This is two quarts, so 64 ounces. So it should be plenty big enough. It's got a sight gauge on the side. I'm going to mount this. As low as I can get it right there. I got a hood strut that comes off of here too. Over to right about where my thumb is when it's collapsed. But it doesn't go down below this three-quarter tube level. So as long as I'm below that, it should clear. I could wait till I get the body on, but I'd rather do it now. So, go there. Gives me about two and a half inches of clearance on the alternator and clear everything else. So that's next. So I got the tank, put some double-sided tape on the back, see if we can get this located. Then drill some holes up. It's got to go. Car is jacked up right now, it's pretty much level. Ow. Big level. Oh, that's pretty close. It's in the bubble. Let's see how that works. Yeah, that'll work. Make sure we clear on everything.
you can see the uh, overflow hose runs down and then I picked up a clamp for the forward brake line and then that runs down underneath the car and the actual bottom connection which goes to the barb on the radiator cap will go to here well, I'm getting ready to change this hose I bought the uh, Boyd Motorsports cool tubes for the upper and lower instead of using this corrugated stuff so I'll be swapping those out next just attached it to the F panel with four quarter 28 one inch bolts nylon lock washers I had to shim it out with some washers on the back side here just because of the angle of the F panel so that's good and sturdy be easy to get to 